Hey, uh, so uh, Coach Saban said that he was pleased with the mentality of the team during last week's practices. How are you feeling about the team's mentality coming out of the bye week and heading into LSU? Uh, man, I think we had a gr great pr preparation last week. Uh, everybody was locked in. Everybody was buying in to the team. You know, we didn't have no problems outside of the, outside of the facility. So, you know, I think the guys had, everybody had the right mentality coming in uh, from the bye week, and I think, you know, we just got to keep bringing it into this week as we get ready for the game. Nick Kelly. Hey, Phil, when you get to this point in the season, kind of the stretch run, I mean, how, what's the key to the approach in, in terms of succeeding once you kind of get this many games in and you start you know, some fatigue going into the season? I mean, what, uh, what, what's the approach? You know, you, you remember for what you do in November. That's what we say around here. And uh, so, you know, we just got to grind harder, you know, just – just keep, you know, keep the main thing the main thing. And that's, you know, going out and being successful every day. Charlie. Hey, Phil. Uh, just being a Louisiana guy, how much does this game against LSU mean to you? Uh, you know, it means a lot. You know, my family get to come down and, uh, you know, we get to enjoy ourselves. You know, everybody going to be rooting for me, you know, my family and stuff. So I, I'm just excited. Can't wait to get on the field and also meet some of my friends that, you know, that's at LSU. Mike? Just along those lines, when you're, you're from Louisiana, what's it like when you have to tell people that you're going to be playing at Alabama instead of, you know, LSU or somewhere a little bit closer to home? Uh, for me, it wasn't really that hard. You know, everybody understood. You know, it was my dream, you know, to come here. So, you know, I had to make the best decision for me. Uh, my, as long as my family was happy, you know, they've been behind me this whole ride. So that's all that really matters. Michael. It, what do you remember about the, the game here two years ago with LSU and all the, the hype and everything surrounding it? What was that week like leading up to that game? I really don't remember, but I know, I know what we got to do this week, you know, so that don't happen again. Aaron. What's it like going up? against uh, Evan Neal, a guy with that kind of size, length, and athleticism? Uh, going up against Big Neal, you know, that's 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 a big man. So uh, I think he prepared all our D linemen for the upcoming week. You know, he gets everybody better, and we also get him better, you know, and we get to – we just get to take the advantage of what we have in front of us. You know, a big guy like him with a high profile, uh, I think he does a lot of great things for our offense and also just also helping the defense out as well to get us prepared for the game that's coming up. Tony. How much did you guys need this, this bye week and how, how I guess, as a, as, a, as a team, do you feel rejuvenated coming out of it? Uh, you know, I think we needed it. Uh, it's always some, somewhere to improve. You know, we got to work on the little things, you know, tackling. Uh, just handwork, the fundamentals of football, of football. So I think it was a good deal for the team, and um, we took a great advantage of it. Steven. Bill, the fans went crazy against Tennessee. That was a, just an awesome environment at Bryant Denny, and you're back at home again against MSU. I, what, how, how about the energy from the fans and you guys just being able to feed off that a lot? Yeah, I love the energy for the fans. Um, we're going to need it this week. Uh, I know they're going to show up just like we are, so, and I love it, <laughs> and I love it. You know, we get to turn up, so come Saturday, you know, to the fans, y'all be out there hooping and hollering so we can feed off that. Charlie? Going back to the 2019 game, I know you said you don't really remember it that much, but there's a lot said from LSU kind of trash talking after the game. Does that motivate you guys going into this one, the, them coming back here for the first time? Nah, man, we're not worried about that. We just worry about getting better this week, uh, focus on what we got to do to go into this game and, and be done. Michael. And a fumble production, uh, forcing fumbles is a big thing. Uh, I think you guys have two this year. Has there been any times this year where you you're close, you've got a ball, you have almost got a guy stripped and they, they hold on to it? Is it, is it kind of one of those things where you guys are getting close to it? Yeah, that's something also that we worked on during the bye week, you know, just getting that ball out. Coach has been preaching it all all last week long, and I'm pretty sure he's going to preach it some more. So 
come this week, we got to keep practicing it. And the more you practice it, the better you'll have a chance of getting it out during the game. So that's what we got to do. Tony. Nick mentioned multiple times just uh, that this is a physical matchup. He expects it to be a physical matchup. What is it about this rivalry that it has maintained its physicality despite maybe the change in, in college football where things have become maybe less physical? You know, I think it started up front with, you know, the offensive line and defensive line. We set the tempo of the game and we got to come out, you know, and striking up front, you know, resetting the line of scrimmage and getting that knockback.